Good. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Nof Abdullah Nami, and I would like to present to you a topic called "Is Meat Bad for You or Is Meat Unhealthy for You?" Uh, supervised by Mr. Muhammad Hamid. And without further ado, let's start this wonderful topic. Click. Okay. So when we go back in time, our vegetarian ancestors used to eat meat around two million years ago. It wasn't because of the animal taste. It was pure necessity. Climate change made many of the plants our ancestors relied on less available. And um, from the discovery of the fire at the latest, meat became a staple of the human diet. So over the last few years, eating meat has increasingly been associated with high risks like heart diseases, certain cancers, and unfortunately, an early death. So how unhealthy is meat really? When you talk about what's the most healthy animal to eat, really there's two options for me, for my opinion. First, I would say fish. You might ask why fish? It's because it contains potassium saturated fatty acids like omega-3, which lowers the risk of cardiovascular diseases, plus it supports the immune, uh, the anti-immune inflammatory uh, functions. And second option is chicken. Chicken has less health effects, but it has a negative effect. Its negative effect is a fat, like high cholesterol and cardiovascular disease. Click. So I've been wondering, like questioning myself, why we eat meat specifically? Truly for three reasons. First, for energy. Second, required materials to fabricate ourselves. And third, to get special molecules that our body can't make themselves. As you can see from this picture, for energy and most of the materials comes from three micro units, fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Why proteins? Proteins is important for recoursing and replenishing our cell structures. As for the special molecules, it contain amino acids that our body needs and minerals like iron, zinc, and essential vitamins that are barely found in plants. For example, vitamin B12. Click. How many red meat should you eat? Specifically, talk about how many red meats. You should eat about 23 grams per day. You might say that's really low for a week. However, studies show that eating 100 grams of red meat per day, every single day, increases your chance of getting diabetes by 90%, strokes by 17, and also um, uh, cortical cancer by 11%. So, Obviously, if you want to eat or you want to be on the safe side, let's go, uh, let's say if you want to go to the restaurant, it's better for you to eat chicken or fish than if you want to be on the safe side, obviously. Click. And lastly, I would like to talk about what is processed meat. Processing meat means adding certain chemicals by salting or fermenting. In other words, making something delicious. But processed meat is really harmful. Why? Because it has something that is called nitrites. Nitrites affects our DNA in our digestive system. And look, uh, unfortunately, it can lead to cancer. So every extra grams of uh, processed meat increases your chance of diabetes, as you can see, heart diseases, and also strokes. Lastly, click. Thanks for watching. I hope you um, enjoyed this wonderful presentation. And lastly, visit cardiojazz.org. Thank you.